I'm Chloe. I'm a volunteer at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and today during Splash Lab we are going to be learning about water density. For this experiment I need to put water into this acrylic box but just to prove it to you that it's all the same water I'm going to be taking out this divider and pour it in for you to see. Alright, so you see that this is all the same water, but I'm going to put the divider in now. So I'm going to be putting salt into the side of the box to replicate salt water. Although there's actually not this much salt in the ocean, I'm going to be putting a lot of salt in here just for the sake of the experiment. I'm also going to color both sides so that you can see what happens better. I'm going to make the fresh water yellow and the salt water blue. So I'm going to remove the divider in the middle here and we're going to observe what happens. As you can see, the blue salt water submerged under the yellow fresh water, and this can be explained by water density. Water density is the mass of water for a given volume of water. A few factors that affect water density are salinity and temperature. The amount of salt in salt water can be determined by measuring its salinity. So as you saw in this experiment, the salt water submerged below the fresh water. This is because the salt in the salt water makes it more dense than the fresh water. As I mentioned before, another factor that affects water density is the temperature of the water. For example, in the ocean, the colder water is more dense so it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, while the warmer water is less dense so it stays near the surface. So as some of you may remember, at the beginning of this video, I made sure to keep the divider out because I showed you that the water throughout this entire box is the same. So this means that the only explanation for this demonstration of water density can be explained by salinity and not by the temperature of the water. The relationship between water density and salinity also applies to brackish water, which is a mixture of salt water and fresh water. I'm going to put the divider back in a second and I'm going to mix one side to create green brackish water out of the yellow fresh water and the blue salt water. So as you see we have our green brackish water here and there's even a little bit of brackish water in between our yellow fresh water and our blue salt water over on this side. So I'm going to remove the divider again and let's see where the brackish water goes. As you can see, the brackish water went above the salt water and below the fresh water, and this is because it's more dense than the fresh water, but less dense than the salt water. I hope you all learned something about water density today. Thank you for joining me on Splash Lab. See you next time.